So I ordered a box on Etsy um, a couple of weeks ago okay. for my nephew. And it's a handmade piece from somewhere in the UK. It's from somewhere in the UK. And it arrived in a piece of quite um, shonky looking um, packaging. Okay. And as I um, as I undid it carefully, as I always do, what I realised that the person who has been packaging it has actually created a box out of like recycled cardboard. I'm going to see if I can okay. show show it to you. So he's actually oh, cut yeah. the piece of cardboard up. Yes. Yeah. Into lots of different areas. Wow. And then he, he, he made it into a, a kind of a box. Well, I say he, I a she. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that's great. Ah. And I just thought it was such a, a really nice piece of upcycling and, re yeah. you know, kind of repurposing. Yeah, for sure. And when you started talking about kind of repurposing bits of, of things, I thought, actually, that would make a really nice... You could do lots with that in terms of, you know, making pieces on each of the different squares. Yeah. So I think I'm going to gesso it up and then, then use some of the things that you've taught me. Uh, Holly, yeah, to create peace. No. They won't understand at the art club. <laughs> <laughs> They're all still doing landscapes. <laughs> no, like you mentioned before um, about the idea of um, collage and working on different areas, I think that's a really good idea. Um, and also, after you've created maybe one piece, um, cutting different areas up and collaging using different pieces as well. It's a really good way to combine different works in one. So the idea of having multiple works as one whole is quite interesting as well. Oh, I think you've got yourself muted, Fiona, I think. <laughs> um, it feeds it feeds both my desire to work on small spaces and a big space at the same time. So a bit of a, a bit of a cheat, but I am making myself work on a bigger space. I think I will guess so this whole piece up so that I've got a starting base. No, Polly. I wondered. I wondered if Polly was. Are you working on another piece, Holly? Polly. Um. Well, I did this piece. You and also, you have to hold it up. I did this piece that was. Um. Yeah. It's a tree. Yeah. 
Your it's whole bag. Um, it's a tree. Um, nice. I painted it. First I did red, then I did orange, then I did black and orange, then I did black. <laughs> so are you using that as a stencil? And I let Alison print the oh, nice. Oh, wow. from it. I love that. I love that. And what made the, what made the, 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 the sort of swirly bits, it almost looks like a fork. Yeah, it was from a fork, a wooden fork. Oh, oh brilliant. Okay, well, it's done the job then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is it up? Uh, it should be right now.
at the moment what I'm doing is using um, a large piece of cardboard and what I've done is I've folded it in half and I'm actually dripping paint from the top so as you can see on here um, it's gradually dripping down to the bottom of it and now what I'm doing is I'm going to think about printing on the other side maybe so you can see at the moment it's just changing over time and then just applying more and more colours to it as well
Yeah. Right, these two are on a major cardboard mission now. I'm on a mission with Katie. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. It's all getting a bit feisty in here. Yeah. Seeing who's the bossiest. Me? Yeah. I'm just trying to angle it so that you can stare at the artist in action. Oh my gosh, we're all on big pieces of card now. <laughs> Holly, are you going to drop that now? Um, I've got some paint bottles resting behind it, so it's keeping it vertical for now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll show you another one that I've done. Um, on a slightly smaller scale, and I quite like how the colours blend. Look at this. Um, if I hold it up. Yeah, that has really worked. And is that the, is that the folding process? Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's the folding that's one. Brilliant. It seems to have worked really well, but... The paint is still dripping quite a bit, but it does seem to have worked. I can see well. it. I can see it still dripping. Yes. <laughs> you're, is that acrylics that you're working in? Um, well, ready mix paint, yeah. Ready mixes, yes. ready mixes. Yes. I need to get myself some of those babies. <laughs> Many minutes. How many minutes? Well, I'm just asking you. Can we get it last longer? Well, depends on what time you've got available. I'm fine. It's just when we
Holly, I'm going to be going in about five minutes. Oh, okay, no worries. I've got the opportunity to have lunch with my, my lovely husband. He's got a, a window, so we're going to have some lunch together. Oh, okay, brilliant. <laughs> Which is it's nice. Nothing fancy, just a bowl of soup. Bowl but it's nice, <laughs> nice to share. That sounds nice, yeah. 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 Um, some brilliant ideas today. Really felt really quite inspired. Um, and I've, I've guessed this piece of cardboard up ahead of the game. Ooh, so I may I may continue with that today or I may leave it to be a starting starting start canvas for next week. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. I'm quite I'm quite excited to do some of the kind of folding printing that you've done. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm not I'm, I'm I might want to wait for my new colours to come. So, so I am working with some different colours and uh, yeah. Ah. Ready mix paint from Baker Ross and <laughs> oh, hang on I can't hear you because I'm not on mute. Sorry. Um, ready mix paint from Baker Ross is really good to use as well. That's that's what I'm using at the moment. Uh, you get some really good colours as well. So a really good selection of things. What did you say about the, the paint you're using, Holly? Um, I was saying I'm using Baker Ross uh, ready mix paints and you get a really good selection of different colours. Um, and they're not too expensive to buy either, I don't think, really. You can get um, a big class pack of 24 paints. Uh, multiple different colours for $19.99 I paid. So again, really good. Uh, 600 milliliter bottles as well. So uh, like, like these these kind of ones as well. And they last for quite a while as well. So Yeah, that's what I need because I'm only using yeah. bits of paints rather than making some decisions. I'll just show <laughs> you quickly the um, sushi mat. So I'm having a going at bigger printer, but you can see slightly Ooh. random because I didn't paint all of the sushi mat, but you get this quite nice gridded, loose but gridded stripes. And then I quite like that. I really like that. But um I think this could be ongoing a little bit each week. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yes, I've I found that some of the pieces I've like the big piece that I worked on today, Liz, I just yeah. feel isn't quite finished, but I didn't I wasn't ready to add anything else to it today. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I need I I want to add something else. Throwing it all on and then I get irritated with it. So <laughs> yeah. so I'm not at the advanced level of Holly, I feel. <laughs> and also I haven't <laughs> about the colours a bit. You start to get into the colours, don't you, and what you want. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. yes. So, you, you, Liz, you were thinking about doing that onto a material. Would that would need a? Is that a fabric that you're putting it onto? Yes, uh -huh. it is. It's uh -huh. just some kind of uh, what's that? Thin cotton kind of thing, like a um, lining for something, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying that out. Obviously, it's not material ink paint, but um, is it just acrylics that you've used? Yeah. So it's taking, yeah. and then actually. The paint in the stars, which is just from cooking cutters, mm -hmm. stars have started to seep a bit into it. I don't know if you can see the... Yes, yes, the, I can, yeah. They're the, just, the, just the, bleeding the in a wee bit. So I always quite like that kind of thing. So, yeah, it's bleeding a bit into the material, but... And then nice one. Shell to make those circly things, the shell thing. 
So, yeah. Anyway, all good. Quite, quite a constellation you've got going there, Liz. I think, yeah. Yes, I think. Because um, I really like printing. So it's quite a nice way to do some basic mm -hmm. printing, isn't it? Stamp stuff. Yes, I like, I like printing as well. I might just get a potato out for next week, you know. Yeah. The potato, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, thank you again for your company. Really lovely to work alongside other people. And thank you for all your inspiration, Polly and Liz thank and Holly. Thank you. Bye. See you later, Fiona. Bye bye. Um, this is what I made and first I did the cuttings with the star from the kitchen and then I put some silver glitter around some stars to make it look like it's shooting and I put this purple silver paint because it's more of a night sky. And I put this because this is more of a sunset. And I put this just as a little. Mmm. From you, Polly oh, might say something. That's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant, Polly. I love it. And um, I love the fact that you've chosen the different colours based on the outdoors as well. It's that's really great. I like the shimmery paint that you've used as well. Yeah, you can see when you're moving it, Liz. That's great. I like the stampers as well that you've got. The, the black stampers on top. You've got quite an abstract background and then different shapes as well over the top. Oh, well done. That's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I like the telly. I like the TV one, Polly.
I really like um the the artworks in your background. Yeah. Um, this is actually, or is it this side? This is the one that you and uh, your mum sent in, isn't it? Um, with the bubble wrap and everything. Yeah, I really liked it. Now, all of these works behind me are actually pieces that people have sent in from these workshops as well. So, what I've been doing is just displaying them on um, like my wall at home. Um, and I've got loads of my other artworks and everything in folders down there. Um, That's why I remember putting uh, um, our artwork into an envelope to send to you. Yes, yeah. Um, on the back of one of these pieces as well. I think you wrote a note on the back of what materials and what things you've used as well, which is great. Now, a lot of my artworks that I do are um, very colourful. I like using lots of colour and different things. Um, are you enjoying these workshops then? Because I know that you've come to a few, haven't you, with your mum? Uh, yeah, I'm totally enjoying them. <laughs> How um, many pieces have you made today enjoying, then, Polly? I'm totally enjoying um, all the artworks. Oh, brilliant. How many pieces have you made today then, um, in total? I think about two or three. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, I did help Alison do the tree, so I think that counts as a three, so... <laughs> yeah. Collaboration, collaboration, one that's collaboration. Good. Hi Liz, are you okay? <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, how are you doing, Holly? I'm okay, thank you. I think I've just about covered the whole of the floor. I don't think I can fit any more on the floor. <laughs> um, how many pieces have you made then as well, Liz, today? Um, well, because I have to work for the other two, cheering up for them i've just uh what I, well i did one very experimental one i'll show you mind okay. your teeth i <laughs> am minding it uh, wait what stop you're gonna break this <laughs> you put it back because i had a lot of fun as well oh brilliant um, thank you so very much, that, ah, that, oh. which is a bit of painting on top of a photograph which I think I might cut out I think it's a surface for something okay and I did my material what you have stuff <laughs> is it on or off um, and then um I did the material one yeah that's it I think that's great did you show our collaboration I saw a collaboration that we did oh, in the end. It. I like the black detail in the middle as well. What did you use for that, Alison? And then I decided yep. it wasn't. I didn't want it to be straight, so I just tore it out a bit. Mm -hmm. And then Liz told me to okay. said, Do it, have use up all the paint <laughs> and, and draw a face. Okay. Your face as well. Don't mute it. What are you trying to? Why are you annoying? <laughs> Is it? Do you sit now? God. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I love it. It's funny on that screen. <laughs> yes, it's Polly. Kind of it's Polly. not me. Polly and the paint that needed using up. Right. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Yes. Drippy paints. Yes, the drippy paints look great, Holly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, have you heard of the artist Ian Davenport? 
Well, he makes a lot of like um, drip paintings and large installations as well, so that was inspiration for that piece. <laughs> I think we're going to go now and have some lunch. Oh, no worries. That's fine. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry now as well. <laughs> um, thank you very much for joining me, though, guys. Thank you. Thanks. This, thank you this has been Thanks. one of the best ones. I'm not, not sure about next week because um, okay. the kids are still on holiday. and Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm at work, so we may yeah. do something else, but I'll let you know okay. anyway. No worries. Thank you very much, though, for joining. Thank you. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a nice week. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too. All that stuff there.